Since the demise of Concorde in 2003, braking the sound barrier in a commercial aircraft has become a thing of the past. Speed is now back on the agenda as we look beyond supersonic. Research by British aerospace manufacturers Reaction Engines has shown that hypersonic speed is an achievable target. We sent John Gibson to find out more about this new age of aviation. At this production facility in Oxfordshire, engineers are developing an engine with the potential to make spaceflight an everyday occurrence. Reaction Engine's Sabre project is using convention-defying technology to transform performance with investment from BAE Systems and the UK government. The core technology uh, is actually the heat exchanger, which it takes that heat out, reuses it in the rest of the system, and that cooler air can then be recompressed. This is a real game changer. It's different to what anybody else in the world can do. Not just different, says the man in charge of the project, revolutionary. It's the creation of a new type of propulsion system that has an opportunity to open up very wide markets and has broad applications. So its unique features are it has the, you know, the efficiency of a jet engine but the, the thrust potential of a, of a rocket. So if you like it's a very efficient rocket engine with a very wide range of operations. Stuart Martin runs the satellite applications Catapult which works with companies like Reaction Engines to help them achieve their potential. The UK space industry is one of the UK's hidden success stories. It already supports about 40,000 high-tech, high-value jobs and is worth about £15 billion to the UK economy. So it's a sizeable industry in itself without even taking into account the, 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 the value of the, the broader economy that it supports, which we estimate at something like £250 billion. So it's a big deal. As well as revolutionising space travel, the Sabre engine could enable hypersonic air travel. For the space sector, it isn't just about space. There's lots of spin-off opportunities where technologies and innovations that have been developed within the UK, within the space sector, can be used in applications elsewhere. We want companies like Reaction Engines to succeed and to grow because obviously they bring not only a valuable technology that they've developed within the UK, but they're supporting um, a number of jobs, high value engineering jobs and also apprenticeships as well, which is something that we're very keen to support. They've been leading the way for a very long time and it's great to be part of the, the journey with them. So what we have here is actually a prototype heat exchanger or pre-cooler. So this is very small diameter tube with a wall thickness less than a human hair of thousands of kilometres of this tube in contains high pressure helium uh, and that sits within this section here. The air comes in radially through this heat exchanger. It works its way through these tubes, this matrix of tubes, and in doing so it can drop in temperature by over a thousand degrees centigrade in, in a fraction of a second. So that is quite remarkable. It's this difference in propulsion system which fundamentally changes what it can do. The ability to fly basically really, really fast. So fast in the speed of sound, but beyond that in what we call hypersonics, so five or six times the speed of sound. The other part of it is you can fly outside the atmosphere, so you can carry enough fuel, so you can basically fly into space and then fly back again. An exciting project which has also attracted some of the country's best engineering talent. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's very rare to get to start from engineering fundamentals, really understand your product, what it's trying to do, and develop it through into production and testing. So the reason why I studied engineering and wanted to work in um, aerospace engineering in particular was to really uh, push the boundaries of of space flight and this is happening in the UK and that really excites me. Space is and has been for the last 50 years a relatively small niche sector focused on government programs, focused on defence, focused on science and it is that transition now into the commercial awareness and into the mass market opportunity that makes the sector so exciting and the opportunity for space sports and space planes is very much at the heart of that future. With a truly reusable uh, uh, vehicle that can be used over and over again you could get to a tenth of the cost and that's that's what's particularly attractive. You could be seeing space planes uh, traveling to and from orbit uh, on a daily or hourly basis I mean it potentially is that 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 big a deal. Mm -hmm.